busted for burglary and booted off the team. Tonight, a guard for the FGCU men's basketball team. He's not playing at Mar March Madness right now. In fact, he's been kicked out of FGCU altogether. CJ Williamson Bay, who goes by Williamson, was suspended for the team after he was arrested on burglary and grand theft charges in the school parking garage. Now, Williamson turned to four in your corner, saying he feels like he's being singled out. He claims some of his teammates have been arrested, but they're still playing ball tonight, and he he wants to know why. Four in your corner's Deborah Souverain taking his concerns to school officials. She joins us live tonight with more on this one. Deborah. Amy, C.J. Williamson transferred to FGCU from Texas Tech, and because of NCAA rules, he wasn't allowed to play his first year, and he believes that may have something to do with why he's being forced out, while other players who are also arrested are still around. FGCU's men's basketball team hits the hardwood for March Madness. One of their players, who was previously suspended after an arrest, is preparing for a permanent departure. I mean, I'm worried, but I know it's not the end of my career. We gotta move on. Sophomore C.J. Williamson, a six-foot-six guard for the Eagles, was hoping to get back on the team following his arrest in connection to a car burglary on campus last month. That's why I still have my practice jersey over here, hoping I'll get back on the team. Yeah, I have three more years here. Three more years. Three years to play ball for FGCU, but this morning he learned he only has three days left. He wasn't just kicked off the team, but out of FGCU altogether. I feel like I'm letting, letting the boys down, so. CJ was charged with burglary and grand theft. FGCU student Jordan Burks was also arrested. We found out CJ isn't the only player on the team who's had a run-in with the law. Last year, Reginald Reed and Ray John Tucker were arrested for possession of marijuana. And standout player Brandon Goodwin was accepted onto the team after facing a grand theft charge for an incident at the University of Central Florida. They're all crime. They all go, they all go against through the conduct. So how is mine different? I took his question to the university. A spokesperson told me in an email they can't discuss disciplinary matters. This includes commenting on why one student's case had a different outcome from another. CJ thinks it comes down to the politics of playing ball. I'll say because they're probably playing. I know I'm sitting out. Despite this unexpected detour, CJ says he's grateful for the opportunity he was given, and he says he'll always be an eagle at heart. For them, for the games and everything, I just felt like this was home, and I just took it for granted, I guess. Now, Williamson tells me he plans on going back home to Orlando, and from there he tells me that he will most likely try out for a junior college team and work his way back to a Division I school. Live in Fort Myers, Deborah Suverain, Fox 4, in your corner. 